What was step three? Step three is, this is where all the work is, right? Prove. Prove that it's true for. Now, again, think, engage your minds. Do not just go through a set of steps because someone has given you a nice performer that you can just fill in the lines into, right? The next step, the next rung in the ladder is not going to be K plus one, is it? Right? Because this is not K. Is it going to be 2K plus 2? That's the next number after it. Why won't it be 2K plus 2? Yeah. 2K plus 2 would give me an even number, not an odd one. Does that make sense? What is the next odd number after this? 2K plus 3. Okay. Now I'm going to write out my statement and then I'm going to go from there. I will just begin this for you. I won't finish it because I think you guys can manage it yourself. But I will start you off because even once you write it, it's still not 100% clear what you're going to do with it. 10Q. Okay. As we've done in previous questions, I need a little bit more space. I'm going to start with the left-hand side. Now I want you to stare at the left-hand side with me. Look at it down here. What would be the quickest path to reworking or reshaping the left-hand side such that I can use these guys up here, the assumption. I wonder what you can see. Hmm. Left-hand side. Let's just write it verbatim first. There it is. Okay. Now, what did I do with this line to make it easy to work with? What did I do? What's the difference between these two? What do you see, Declan? Yeah, these positive integers here that were up in the index before, they're much easier to work with when I just see them as multiples, right? That's all they are. I can do the same thing over here. They're just bigger numbers, right? How many 3 to the 2Ks are there in here if I factor out this plus 3? How many are there? What is 3 to the 3? It's 27, right? How many 7 to the 2Ks are there? That's how many 3 to the 2Ks. How many 7 to the 2Ks are there? How are you with your powers of 7? 7? 49? 343? Don't worry, you have a calculator, so you don't need to memorize that number. But you'll see it often enough that, like, I haven't tried to memorize that, you'll just see it. That's how many I have of this. Is that okay? Now, what am I trying to get in there? What am I trying to find? And the answer is I'm trying to find these guys, right? They're clearly in there. How many do I have of each? Hmm. Well, three lots of 3 to the 2K. How many of the 3 times the 3 to the 2Ks do I have? I think I can see nine of them. Do you agree with that? Nine lots of 3 Three lots? That's a bit confusing because there's so many multiples, but I'm just trying to see this as clearly as I can. What about this one? How many are there? I want to see how many seven lots of that there are. Well, I think there are 49 lots of seven lots of that. Are you with me so far? Now, what can I do to make these guys easiest to see and do a substitution? Well, I want there to be some even number of these. I've got nine of them here, so I can pull nine out of here as well, right? You see that? Nine lots of this. Nine lots of this. Seven, sorry. If I've pulled nine out, how many are left over? There are 40 left over, which is kind of suspicious to me because what is it that I'm trying to prove? What is it I'm trying to prove? I'm trying to prove divisibility by 10, right? Now, this is kind of, I know Mrs. Lee has already mentioned this, but when you're doing a proof by induction, just like when you're doing a proof of a trigonometric identity, you always have to um, have your eyes going in two directions, right? There's one eye working, and then there's another eye looking at what's your destination? Where are you headed, right? And when I see that, I'm like, good. See this guy here? It's done. Do you see that? I don't have to worry about it anymore. It's clearly a multiple of 10 because it's 40 times something, okay? 
What's over here? What's left? I don't have to deal with this anymore. What could I do with this that might be useful? I can factorize out the nine, right? In fact, I'm even gonna do, yeah, yeah, I better write it in long form. Like so, having factorized, I can now use my, what's the thing about mathematical induction? The big central piece is the assumption, right? It's the only thing you do in mathematical induction never wear else. So I can say that's nine times what? Get out of its way again. 10p, very good. And because this is the special thing about proof by induction, I'm gonna say here that I've used the assumption by assumption. Do you need me to finish it? Or do you reckon you could take over from there? Right? I wanna to get to 10 times some stuff that's definitely a positive integer. I think you can see there's 10 times some stuff which is a positive integer. So I'll stop talking, but I'll finish writing it all out just in case you wanna have it for the sake of completeness and it bothers you having an incomplete proof on the board. But that's pretty much all of the hard work there. So the things you need to be careful for are what is n? n's not just anything, right? Look for the conditions around it because that will shape what you actually do in your assumption and in your proof step as well, okay? All right, I'll, I'll finish off writing it, but I think that's all the substance. So you can go back to whatever question you're on um, or you can write it all down with me if you like.